Welcome back to PSL Living. I'm Sarah Prohaska, your host. I'm here with Anna Marie Colonese. She's the coordinator for Cape Port St. Lucie Beautiful, and she is here to tell us about some great community events that are coming up in April. Thank you, Anna Marie, for being with us today. Really appreciate it. Hi, Sarah. I'm glad mm -hmm. to be here. All right, great. So, Cape Port St. Lucie Beautiful, it's our program that we use to keep the, the city free of litter, right? Or look, pick up litter throughout the city. Yes, we work on education, yeah. beautification, and controlling the litter and we'd like to be litter free <laughs> yes and we're close to being litter free we Saint are we, yeah we have a lot of great employees mm -hmm. staff uh, residents and everybody so many people work to keep the litter down yeah and then our program helps that a lot also because being close to being litter free it takes a lot of hard work oh so. it does yeah. oh, it does between the staff you know, all the volunteers, yes. Yeah, so we gotta keep working at it. Yes. And we have a few events that are coming up um, very soon um, in April that you wanna tell us about. The first one is a fun one at, um, it's now called First Data Field. First Data Field. Used to be Tradition Field, but it's now First Data Field. And it's our Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful Appreciation Night. Can you tell us about that? Yes, that's mm -hmm. our way of saying thank you to the residents in the community. Mm -hmm. We have a night out where if you bring, the residents can bring two non-perishable cans of food, you know, types mm -hmm. of food, yeah. and bring it to the game. We'll have a booth out front. We'll have information about Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful. And if they bring the food, then they'll get a free ticket. Oh, great. So, yeah, That's so they great. get to go in, enjoy the game, have a nice night out. There you go. And and you are, Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful is doing this um, to help Treasure Coast Food Bank, correct? Yes, the Treasure okay. Coast Food Bank will be out there with us and they'll collect the food, all the food will go to them and they'll disperse it as they see fit. Oh, great. Yeah. So yeah, that's a fun way. And then I guess, will you be out there with information? If anyone has questions about how they could get involved with Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful, I Absolutely, I'll be out there. Okay. We'll have other staff out there. We'll have information about mm -hmm. our Adopt a Street program, yeah. about our different events, about how they can uh, work to clean up litter also. Okay. You know, any questions they may have. Okay, great. So, and then a few weeks later on April 22nd, we have a big event. Yes. Tell us about this one. This is our cleanup day. It's right? our annual cleanup day. We usually have it every April. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we ask the residents to come out and just to clean the whole city. That's where our goal is to mm -hmm. clean all the streets. Um, we have breakfast and then we'll have lunch and what we do is come out, it's real easy. You just mm -hmm. register, sign up, have some breakfast. Okay. Then we will have buses to okay. take people to the different locations, different park locations. Mm -hmm. And from there, they can go out and do a cleanup. Okay. After that, we'll bring them back to City Hall, which mm -hmm. is where we're having it this okay. year. That's change. where they go to to get on the bus and to get their breakfast to City Hall, right? Yes, yeah, City Hall in our parking lot, yeah. 121 Southwest Port St. Lucie Boulevard. Yeah. And um, when they come out, you know, after the cleanup, yeah. mm -hmm. after they come back from the buses, then we will have lunch and raffle prizes. And what we want to do is just say thank you. I mean, just them coming mm -hmm. out that day, mm -hmm. it means so much. Um, you know, we can tell them about our programs. Yeah. We, they can see what a difference it makes when they see all the trash that comes back. We'll have big dumpster mm -hmm. waste pro will yeah. have dumpsters out there and we collect a lot of trash that day. So. Yeah. How many people usually come out to that? Do you it could be anywhere from 100 to three or 500. Wow. So okay. yeah, Just depending depends. on the day, yeah. I guess it depends on the weather and <laughs> sure how nice it is that day. But that, sure. what a great way to spend your day. Yep. And it's actually not your whole day. It's eight to one, correct? Eight to one. Uh -huh. um, we, we, once you get there, you know, you once you're signed in and we'll have shirts, you get your shirt, you'll be ready to go. You go out, you do your cleanup, and then when you come back with the lunch and raffles and get to meet the staff and, you know, see how it goes, and um, that's it. I mean, it's just a wonderful event. Um, our Adopt-A-Street program will have uh, information for you mm -hmm. to sign up. Uh -huh. You know, the kids come out, yeah. they can they can do a cleanup with gonna, their families. I was gonna ask, all if families can do this, it, as long as their parents or an adult is with them, I'm sure. Yes, um, yes, then, we ask that adult be with them. And mm -hmm. the children, well, a lot of 
school-age children uh -huh. need community service hours. Mm -hmm. So when you come out that day, we will have letters and we'll be able to give them a letter stating how many hours they work that oh, day. Oh, wow, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you need uh, volunteer hours for scholarships or programs, yes. that's a great way to come out and get you know half a day's worth of hours yes. right there. And then we also have community groups come out. There mm -hmm. might be church groups or, yeah. or, of course, all our volunteers that already mm -hmm. um, participate, yeah, they come, come out, out also. But uh, we have church groups. We have school groups. I have a group that just contacted me. There's going to be about 60 of them mm. coming out. So we're looking forward to that. And from there, they take that information and the children are learning from that. So. Okay. All right. Great. That's, and we talked just now a little bit about Adopt a Street. That's one of um, Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful's main big programs ongoing throughout the year. Can you tell me a little bit about that in case people are interested? Um, that it's free. Right. We need to stress that. Some people may think you have to sign up and pay something for supplies. Everything's, everything's Everything is provided. supplied by Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, same thing as with the cleanup day. We mm -hmm. will have, we give you shirts. We give you nice bright orange shirts if yeah. you adopt a street, mm -hmm. and this way, when you're out there in your own neighborhood mm -hmm. doing a cleanup, you'll they'll see you. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so we give you shirts, we give you trash bags, we give you buckets and grabbers, and mm -hmm. then we also have these litter loops that one of our volunteers has made. Mm -hmm. uh, they're wooden squares, and you walk with that and. Uh, our volunteers love them yeah um, but it's such an easy way to pick up litter but yeah we give you all the supplies and anything that you need if you need the trash picked up mm -hmm. we can go out and pick it up or you can put it in with your own trash mm -hmm. so it's a very easy program free and you and get your sign yes and, and that also does not cost money the sign is part of the program right, right. it's yeah. optional mm -hmm. and you know um, most people do want it if yeah. you have a business you mm -hmm. can have your business name on yeah. there your family name uh -huh. what a, whatever you would like on the yeah. sign but yes we put a sign out there mm -hmm. so it shows that your area has been adopted mm -hmm. so, and from that also a lot of other people will ask you about the program I know I have my own adopt a street and I get asked about it so so you um, become an ambassador if if your name is out there on the sign yes so that's yes great yeah that's funny. Gary Smith, who invented the litter, he, I don't know if he invented it, but he promotes the litter loop. Yes, it was one of his He was on the show friends. and he was showing it to us. And it is a great way to pick up litter without having to touch, um, get your hands on any of it. Or, you know, it right. keeps your bag open for you. So you're not having to constantly open up your bag or, or your, you know, whatever you're using. So right. You never tool. need to, you never need to use pick yours your hands we yeah. have gloves yeah uh, latex gloves mm -hmm. we have the grabber and that's so yeah. easy to use mm -hmm. and then the bucket and the trash bags yeah. and all so yeah. it's not it's and if you see hazardous waste out there we have it where you call us or okay. you call the police department mm -hmm. so there are you never have to worry about being in danger yeah um, we want you to stay on the side of the road we don't ask mm -hmm. you to go in the streets so okay. everything about it is safety first yep. mm -hmm. and then cleanliness second yes. and just the support of the residents makes that happen. It really does. Um, yeah. So, and right now we have a hundred adopt a street groups. Wow. That's so great. We just broke that record oh. about a month ago. Oh, perfect. And that means a hundred miles have been adopted. Uh -huh. And we have 900 miles of road, so we're looking to adopt the other 800 miles. Yeah, <laughs> we still need 100. Sounds like a lot, but with our city of our size, we need a large force of these adopt a street teams out yes, there. So. Yes. And I just remembered something I wanted to ask you at the very top about, but I, it slipped my mind. But Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful is now has been moved back. It used to be under Public Works. Yes. It was moved to neighborhood services. Yes. And now you've moved back to public works. So right. we just want to let residents know that. Yes, our permanent home now uh -huh. is public works facility. We're at 450 Southwest Thornhill Drive. Okay. So if you have any questions, the phone numbers are all the same. We have mm -hmm. the 873-6312 number. Mm -hmm. And we also have our hotline. The Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful hotline is 871 Seven thousand. Okay. And great. of course, our email addresses are all the same too. Wonderful. In the city, you can go to the city website, so it's easy to contact yes. us. Yes. There. Yeah. www.cityofpsl.com. And yes. there's a lot of information about Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful yes. on there. And very recently, we we've got this on the website right now. Um, 
our local Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful recently won an award. Can you tell us about that? Yes, we're uh -huh. an affiliate of Keep America Beautiful. Yeah. And there are certain requirements. Uh, we're supposed to educate the residents. We're supposed to do beautification. Mm -hmm. And we do all, of, and of course, the end littering. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. um, so we have certain requirements to follow through Keep, to be a Keep America Beautiful affiliate. Uh -huh. um, we recently won or received the presidential mm -hmm. Circle, a circle recognition yes. award, yes. which is quite an honor. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of affiliates out there, and okay. like I said, you have a lot of standards. You have to do a cost benefit analysis okay. for everything that you do, and we've accomplished all that. And so we did receive that, that award, which we're great. very proud of. Yes, um, and we also received a th congratulations from Senator Negron. Wonderful. So that was nice. That is great. It's good to you do a lot of hard work, and it's good to be recognized. Sometimes. Sure. I mean, I know you do it. Every most of these volunteers do it just to help the community. Right. But it's nice to give them a little pen on the back. Yeah, and it means yeah. a lot. It means a mm -hmm. lot to everybody that's contributing, and you know, it's yeah. good for them to be acknowledged. So it's good. Great. Okay. Well, we hit on a lot of things. Thank you so much for coming in today, Anna Marie. And you're welcome. We'll uh, see you out at the cleanup day on April 22nd, and. Come watch a Mets game for yes, free. Yes, watch the Mets game for free. Yeah, and bring You'll in your You'll be contributing to the Treasure Coast Food Bank, mm -hmm. and it's it's a wonderful like the way to spend the evening. All right, that's April seventh. April seventh. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we'll be right back after these messages.